In this video, you will learn how to create a comparative market analysis, also known as a CMA using Paragon CMA. First, click on CMA. Then, click on Create Presentation. Next, name your presentation. I will name mine after my client, Captain America. Then select Continue. Now you can select Create a new subject property if you do not have the subject property saved onto the MLS. Load a subject property if the property is listed under your partial saves. Or use an existing MLS listing if the property is active and you have an MLS number to input. For this example, I'm going to select Create a new subject property. Choose your property class. I'm going to choose residential because the subject property that I'm working on is a residential property. Next, add the county information. For this example, I'm going to put street number and street name. Once you're done, click on search. Select your subject property by clicking on the box next to the tax ID number on the left-hand side. Now, click on Autofill, then select Save. You are now in the listing information. Here, you want to fill out all of the R sections right here. Those fields are required. Once you're done filling out all of the R sections, click on Save Subject Property. You can upload a photo by clicking on the Add Edit Photo to add a cover photo for the CMA. Here you can go ahead and upload multiple photos, or you can go ahead and click on this green plus button to upload an image. Click on Add Files, and then just choose your photo that you'd like to use. Click on Start Upload, and then click Save. Click on Close. Once the photo is done uploading, you'll see the photo as your cover page. Once you're done, click on Next. The next step is adding your client's information. You have two options. Create a new client if you have not saved the client information already into the system. Select client from contact list if you have already saved the client information. For this example, I'm going to create a new client. Add their first name and last name. And you can add other information if you'd like. Click on Save on the upper left-hand side once you have finished adding your client's information. You will then see your client's information saved. Click on Next on the upper right-hand side to complete the first part of prepping your CMA. The next step is selecting the comparable properties. First, click on Add Comparable. Choose the property class that best describes your subject property. For this example, I'm going to select on Residential. From here, you are going to search for your comparable properties. For status, you can select all active, all pending, and all sold. Select the city, select the city where the comparable properties are located. My example is in Alameda. Select the building type, mine is detached, and the number of bedrooms and baths. Be sure to select the closing date for the comparable properties too. I'll choose the previous 90 days for this example. Once you're done, click on search. You will now see a list of your comparables. Select the properties that you would like to include to your CMA report by clicking on the checkbox next to each property. You can also click on Checked to only display the properties that you want to show on your CMA. Once you're done, click on Add to CMA. Select Selected, then click on Select, and then click on Next. Awesome, we just finished step two. Step three is Adjustments. In this step, you can make adjustments to your comparable properties. If you don't need to make adjustments, 
you can go ahead and click on next to move to the next step. I am confident in my comparables, so I'm going to click on next. Step four is page layout. During this step, you can choose your theme. You have all sorts of options. For my example, I am going to select on modern. After you have select your theme, click on next. If you would like to add a footer to the report, check the footer box and add the text that you would like in the footer. You can customize how the text is aligned in the footer by choosing alignment. You can add a logo by selecting logo, and you can choose how it is aligned. Once you're ready, you can click on next. A disclaimer box will appear. Once you are done reading it, and if you approve, click on next. Step five is presentation setup, where you can choose which pages you would like to include in your final CMA report. All the pages are optional. To include a page, click on the box next to the page name. You can edit each page by clicking on the individual page name and then edit the information. When you're done editing, click on Save. We're not at the final step. View presentation. Click on step six and then click on start. And now you have your CMA from the CMA wizard on Paragon. You can print the report by clicking on the printer on the upper right hand side. Make sure you click on save CMA components. That way you can always come back to the CMA. And now you know how to make a CMA through Paragon CMA. If you have any questions, please contact tech support at 925-730-7100. Thanks for watching.